Got the players fired up and ready to turn this afternoon's match for the Mustangs into a start of another march to the top of the Big West standings. Very competitive so far. We'll get you what the standings look like in a moment. Meanwhile, Smith, not an opportunity, passed a few defenders, and she scores! Goal! Annika Smith in the seventh minute puts the Mustangs up 1-0. Exactly the start the home team needed. Take a look at it. Smith passed a couple of center backs. The clearance doesn't work at first. She's already passed the back line. That's just way too much time if you UC Riverside. You cannot give any forward that kind of. Now we'll see if the Highlanders are able to bounce back. And it looks like Lexi Yella is off to the races, past the box. And the other way, here comes Gonzalez. Nice stop by Samuel, the keeper. Ball is still out. Defense doing well to collect it around the goal line. And at least 1 0 Mustangs for quite a while now, courtesy of a goal in the seventh minute that was probably easier than it should have been. Benitez trying to equalize for the Highlanders, but on the ground too easy for Sam. Some room from Smith. Running inside the box, another shot, and she scores again! A brace, Veronica Smith, 2-0 Mustangs! For whatever reason, the Highlander defenders just having a hard time dealing with Smith. Lots of room on the right flank. The defenders just chasing after her, not getting on the ball, and Souza, the keeper, can't get a hand on it. Hard Reedy shot. has the ball set. Here comes the corner. And Halliday's header off of the crossbar. Very close Seventh there. Seventh and 30th minutes before Yamoka's penalty kick for UC Riverside in the 44th minute. Shot leader is Smith. And she's trying to make it a hat trick, and she does! Hat trick, Veronica Smith! Goal! Oh my goodness, it actually happened. Three goals in one game for one Mustang. And Annika Smith is now the leading scorer for Cal Poly. Uh, yet another breakdown for the defense. Smith around three defenders. None of them could pick her up just outside the six. And I'm actually struggling to see if we had any when I was calling games. Now a chance for Needham to find goal. Not quite, though. 